So we, let's talk about sugar. So you see my lean physique is, oh man, how long have I been living on sugar for? I don't know, 18 years on a high carb, low fat, sugar-based vegan lifestyle, fruit, white rice, sugar. This video, we've got Marcus Roth kind of snack. Again, no hate to Marcus, it's purely a nutritional debate. I think Marcus uh, says some good things out there with the positive attitude and stuff like that, Tony Robbins style things. But when it comes to sugar and his confusion understanding about it, he's, he lacks understanding about insulin, lacks understanding about human growth hormone, etc. And this video, we're going to cover that. We just, I just used the first few minutes of Marcus's video just to debunk the claims he was saying. He's a lot learned from the right source. He's just read stuff off the internet, which we all do. And it, when you read things off the internet, it can be good or it can be bad. And if you have no personal experience in athletics or whatever, or help people reverse diabetes, then it can be a bit hard. Because in today's world, you've got wrinkles. It's like Botox and Brotox. Shoot it up. So I'm going to show you exactly the truth about sugar and aging, and there is part truth. Sugar will age you. Why is that? Because sugar lowers your body fat, and the less body fat you have, then you'll have a few more wrinkles, a few more crow's feet, you'll have more definition in your face, right? So if I was obese, then I would have no wrinkles, right? The best way to lose wrinkles in your face, there's two ways to do it. Don't smile, close your eyes, have no expression on your face, three ways. That's, that's the first one, no expression on your face. Second way, something like that. The second way is Botox or Brotox and not have your face like this like, you know. Third way, obesity. And fourth way, be under age 15. So that's the reality, okay? And maybe fifth way is Photoshop it. Or sixth way, use a camera with smoothing effect, etc. Wrinkles are a part of life. If the lower your body fat, if you've got abs, if you can see abs, you're going to see wrinkles in your face unless you're age 15, okay? That's just how it is. So have a, a, a realistic, realistic perception Best way to de-age yourself, stand upright, take a big breath, smile, relax, have gratitude, all right? Gratitude for life. I know plenty of people who are, have, don't have a wrinkle on their face, their face is frozen with the Botox, but they have this like angry energy coming out of them because they live in resentment towards their ex-girlfriend or their ex-boyfriend or their mom or their dad or the whatever. And you know, they live in this resentment. So they're going to be wrinkle-free face, Botox, whatever, makeup, foundation, but that anger shines through, right? The hatred, the lack of gratitude, of bubble, lack of gratitude shines through, right? So if you want to de-age yourself, it's not about nutrition as much as what's going on here. Anyway, let's get into the video. Let's come to Sugar's defense. Let's debunk some of the, the myths out there that Marcus has said unintentionally, just in the age, in, uninformed. Let's get into it. Let's watch the video. Me to do a rebuttal. This is the Healthy Life Marcus, and let's listen to what Marcus has to say. Yeah, First of all, notice Marcus is wearing a wig, which is totally fine, nothing wrong with that at all. I reckon I've, I've run wigs in my videos before, he's, he's wearing makeup, etc. Nothing wrong with that. Let's just call it what it is what it is. Botox, yeah, Kara's getting Botox, he might be getting Botox, who knows, but we know that. Uh, let's just use that first of all because people might say, Oh, you look really young, but let's, uh, why is that? Anyway, let's get to it. I gotta make one more. We talked about how uh, when she ate too many desserts in Germany, it made her age and she looked older and she didn't feel good and all that. Desserts. So what is typically in dessert is typically fat, fatty stuff. So let's cut straight to the truth here. So this is advanced glycation end products, all right? So the more advanced glycation end product you have, some people say, not everyone, but some people say that it is causes premature aging and bad health. Still undecided, but that's what, if we're going to use the argument, let's go with that. So let's look at the fats. So this is the serving here, the AGEs, the advanced glycation end products per 100 gram. So Marcus just said desserts. Uh, now, no hate to Marcus, just, this is just a nutritional debate here. Nutritional debate. He does say some good things here and there in between his uh, snake oil sling and supplement sales. Anyway, so we have almonds, 5,000, 5,000. Avocado, 1,500. Whipped butter. Most desserts contain butter. Traditional desserts contain butter. Now, maybe they're having vegan desserts, then they're going to have you know things like that. Even raw nuts have a lot of AGEs. Cream cheese, 10,000. Margarine, 17,000. Butter. Butter, whipped butter, 26,000. Grass-fed or not, it's the same thing. Butter, butter. Uh, let's go down to here. Mayonnaise, 
uh, we got uh, imitation mayonnaise has less. Olives, so a lot of raw food is still a lot of olives. Olives have pretty high uh, advanced glycation end product, but other fruits. So yeah, so pine nuts, raw food desserts have a lot of pine nuts in there. Raw, raw pine nuts, 11,000. Raw pumpkin seeds, 1,800. So let's, walnuts roasted. So oils, oils, we know oils ain't so ain't so flash. So a lot of desserts have a lot of oil in there, don't they, traditionally? The best dessert is fruit. Fruit and sugar is the best dessert. And I'll show you why. Olive oil, healthy olive oil, high in AGEs. So Marcus recommends the fats, but we see the fats contain a lot of AGEs. Beef, all right, beef. So meat has a lot of AGEs in it as well, unless you have it raw. But we don't eat raw meat here because we're not cats and dogs. We don't eat meat at all. But, so if you want to cook the meat, bam, the AGE is coming real strong, real strong. 10,000, pan-fried olive oil. Sean Baker, no wonder he looks so inflamed. Inflamed. Chicken, barbecue chicken, 8,000. Boiled is less, but still too much. Let's scroll down. And again, meat and stuff is all unnecessary. Oil is unnecessary in the diet. Sugar is essential. Fruit is essential. Carbs are essential. Let's scroll down here. This is all the meats and stuff, the, the animal stuff, the whiting fried onion uh, things like cheese is very high a lot of desserts have cheese in there butter soy a burger 130 so there you go uh, broiled tofu is a bit higher raw tofu lower so there you go if you're gonna have your tofu have it soft boiled eggs a lot of fried eggs a lot and then uh, egg omelets a bit lower uh, let's scroll down here let's get to the bread so breads very low in AGEs, very low in AGEs. This is per 100 gram serving as well. So very low in AGEs. Breads are good. Breads get the all clear, except for hard toasted. So breads are, breads get the all clear. Croissant, not so much because it has the margarine and as it doesn't, the butter. The butter gives you the AGEs. Breakfast cereals, quite low. Most of them, bran flakes, cream of wheat, corn pops. What's a, what's a corn pop? Never heard of that before. And now we'll scroll down here, instant oatmeal. So the oatmeal, very, very low. Very, very low. French toast, again, high because of the margarine and the butter. Waffle, high because of the margarine and the butter. Kidney beans, low, low, low. Past, low. White rice, nine. Look at that. So white rice, refined sugar, low, AGEs. We have corn, which is a carbohydrate, refined corn, low. So we've got in here cheese doodles. Again, butter, oil, high. Let's keep scrolling down. Let's go and find sugar. Let's go let's cut straight to it. Granola bar, nutri grain bar, all the oils and cooked in a cookie. You know, because you people say, oh, this is where sugar gets the bad right. Let's look at that. Three thousand, it's a cookie, sugar, sugar, it's cookie, cookie, cookie. They're gonna pick it up. Let's let's go let's just go straight to see where where is sugar on this? Where's apples, bananas, nine, during right approved food, nine. Coconut cream, coconut, Marcus approves that, 933. So the fattiest stuff, dates, low per 100 grams. All right, cucumber, 31. Let's keep scrolling down. Where's the sugar? Sugar! Oh, my God. Look at that. Wow. White sugar, zero. 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 All right, so that's why Marcus has no idea about nutrition. Let's go back to the truth, what he's been saying. Let's go have a look. I and then she did one on a two week sugar fast. And I mean, why even do that? We've just proven that sugar has no relation to aging. Sugar has no AGEs. Sugar has zero advanced glycation end products. So this is just a total mistake what Mark's doing. And we see that fruit is also very, very low in AGEs. All this, well, you guys don't know what. So anyway, so what, what I want to talk about real quick, and this is the last thing I'm going to talk about, is why sugar causes aging and wrinkles and things like that. I already talked about this a couple times in other videos, and either there's some new people who... It does look like Marcus does have some sort of makeup or face fillers on, because his eyes move and his mouth moves, but notice his face doesn't move. It's sort of set. There's no expression lines on his forehead. Nothing goes in here. So his eyes move, his mouth moves, but his face is sort of frozen. Is that Brotox? Who just came on board and don't know that, or some people just plain old forgot. So I'm gonna remind you. And I'm also gonna talk about a little bit more in depth about certain things, certain misconceptions, namely fructose versus glucose. We're gonna talk about glycation. And we're <laughs> glycation, are we, are we gonna talk about that? It's a 19 minute video, we won't go that far in, but that, I did watch the video, it doesn't mention that at all. He doesn't even mention the charts. 
So he's just going to talk about fat and aging and sugar and we'll get through all this really fast. So let's just clear up some misconceptions and just give you a little bit of a crash course as to what it is. Um, sugar, yes, the body can run on sugar. It is a fuel. Almost everything you eat turns into sugar through the form of glucose or glycogen. The sugar found in fruit is fructose, which is a slightly different... No, it's wrong. The sugar found in fruit is sucrose, which contains glucose and fructose. Fruit contains sucrose. That's where the most of the sugar comes from, is sucrose. It's not fructose, it's sucrose. And the sucrose in the fruit, the sucrose in the cane sugar, contains 50-50 split glucose and fructose. So Mark has straight away got it wrong there. Different form of sugar, and it does react a little bit differently in the body, it goes right to the liver. I'll get into that in a minute. But let's get to some of the main things first. First thing is, why does sugar age? There's several reasons. Okay, there's hormones that age you and hormones that do the opposite, make you younger. One of the hormones that makes you younger is HGH, human growth hormone. Makes cells grow, keeps you perky, keeps things working, it's really good. And as you age, you get less and less of this stuff in your body. Human growth hormone is tricky though because it's only released under certain conditions. It stops releasing altogether when another hormone is present. And that hormone is insulin. Insulin is released. This isn't true at all. <laughs> this isn't true at all. When you eat pretty much anything, almost every That's true. Everything you eat releases insulin, except if you're eating pure fat. And how many people eat just pure fat? Whenever you eat pretty much anything you eat. But eat eating a diet of pure fat will raise your fasting insulin anyway. So you end of the day, you'll have a higher level of fasting insulin if you're eating a lot of dietary fat. That's just fact. That's why fat people have high insulin levels because eating so much fat. Insulin gets released. HGH production is stopped. Not true. In insulin, there's several hormones that promote the aging process. Insulin is one of the main ones. Another one is cortisol, which is stress released. So really the two biggest things for aging are stress and sugar and smoking, but we all know that, right? So when you eat, HGH production is stopped. That's not true. <laughs> It comes back on like, like this is hilarious. Marcus is trying, oh man, hang on. Let's, let's, let's hear him out first. Insulin is released. Insulin is necessary. I mean, it does a lot of things that's necessary in the body. It's what tells the body's cells to open up, to absorb and take in energy for fuel. And also insulin shuttles human growth hormone into the cell. So if you don't have enough insulin, your human growth hormone won't go into the cell properly. That's why bodybuilders who use human growth hormone, who inject it, they also inject with insulin as well to make sure that their testosterone and their GH is going into the cell better. That's why they use insulin. Very dangerous, don't recommend it, but that's the fact. So bodybuilders are using insulin alongside human growth hormone. So they'll do a shot of GH and then a shot of insulin to carry it over. So Marcus is trying to say, if you have insulin in your body, which you always do have, then human growth hormone doesn't work. It's like nonsense. Because bodybuilders inject GH with insulin. Google it up. Fuel. Problem is most people eat junk. So when the cells open up, they take in fat and junk and all kinds of crap. And then the cells close up and now they've got fat and junk in them. People. Well, that's true. Fat. And what is junk? Well, what is junk? Marcus just likes to use sort of sound bite words to, for the Americans to go, yeah, junk, junk, yeah. What is, what is junk? Is junk, what is, what is it? Junk could be anything. Junk could be old newspapers. Junk could be an old shoe. Junk could be junk from a junkyard sale. What is junk, Marcus? What is junk specifically? I wonder why they're getting fat and unhealthy. Also, they have too much sugar in their diet. So now there's too much insulin. Your pancreas goes because it's overworked and you have way too much insulin in your body. And I'm going to get to this. In a That's sort of semi-true, but it's not from the sugar. It's from the excess dietary fat. Minute, because that is kind of a critical thing as to why people have a lot of weight gain and health issues. But let's talk about another issue as to why. Actually, I might have to take back the Botox thing because I can do see a crease here. I do see a crease here. All right, so I have to, I'll have to take back that Botox thing. Are you seeing a crease? I'm seeing a crease as well. I think Marcus is just using a bit of foundation and a good lighting, but his face doesn't move a lot. That could be, uh, I'm seeing a crease here. So if you got Botox, the crease ain't there. Why sugar causes aging, and that is a process called glycation. Glycation is a process that happens when you eat sugar. 
Now sugar molecules like to attach themselves to lipid and protein molecules, especially elastin and collagen in the skin. It starts cross-linking the proteins. This process produces what's called advanced glycolization end products, or AGEs, which cause protein fibers to become stiff and malformed, resulting in wrinkles, stiffness, and loss of elasticity, otherwise known as accelerated aging. Also, the body does not recognize Look at that extreme thing. Like this is what <laughs> this is how you look at your sugar. One, we've got a model here who's got mad lighting that's been photoshopped up on the left and then photoshopped on the right. Why don't we use a real world example of someone? You know, this is this is again, this is causing an emotional trigger, a reptilian brain response by using an extreme example here of like just total photoshopping. It's hilarious. I bet this person eats a high sugar diet and she's all probably she's about well, she's about eighteen. AGEs as normal so it releases antibodies which cause inflammation so we've just we've just seen that the AGEs are not found in the sugar they're found in the other foods all right in the skin and it's just this this battle starts raging in your body um, sugar is also de a dehydrating agent so that makes your body release more oils and it also affects water Hang on, being dehydrated makes you more oily how does that work it doesn't work at all binding to your skin if you have dry skin flaky skin cracking skin look at the sugar in your diet look at uh, I don't have dry skin I don't have cracking skin and I'll smash in the sugar look at this he's, he's using pasta sauce and M&Ms. M&Ms are full of fat. M&Ms are full of glycated, you know, advanced glycation end products, aren't they? We know sugar's not, but the, the dairy and the margarine and the oil and the butter in there, the milk has the AGEs. All the places where you're getting sugar. Look, you got dark circles. Do you like sweets? Hmm, think about that. Anyway, where's my dark circles? I've been having sugar every day for the last, you know, 30 odd years. I see dark circles in people who don't get enough sugar. Typical sugars involved in glycation are glucose, obviously, and fructose. People don't know that. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Fruit's not bad. It's just how much fructose you get. I'll get to that in a minute. But glycation is a biomarker of diabetes and is implicated in some diseases like aging. So glycation is a really big cause of aging. And you I, don't I don't disagree with that, but look at the foods here. The, fr the sugar has zero glyc glycated end products in there, all right? And glycated hemoglobin, which is measured in diabetics as hemoglobin A1C, is increased the more fat you eat. The more sugar you eat, the lower your hemoglobin A1C. Ask any diabetic over who's done reverse their type 2 or improved their type 1. Robbie Barbaro would be a great example, a guy who lives on fruit. And fruits, what's fruit full of? Fruit is full of sugar, sucrose. So, you know, this is where Marcus just has good lighting and uh, some good sound bites, but off just drops the ball massively. Let's have a look at the. Uh, yes, the body can run on sugar. The body prefers run on sugar. All right. So that's true. Uh, blah, blah, blah. If we ate what truly, actually truly intended, that's sweet, that's fruits. You know, it's fruits. So uh, these. You know, chronic exposure to can lead to high. Where's my obesity? Where's my hyper? Where's any? Where's the any fat fruitarians out there? They don't exist. Uh, juicing fruit increased type two diabetes. It's just such bonk, you know, such bunk. Health implications of fructose, like fruct, like how can you promote fruit which is full of fructose, but then be saying fructose is bad? That's like saying arsenic is good if it's in the water, but if you add it to the water, that's bad. It's like in instantly, instantly. Nothing till four intermittent fasting. That's going to be a great way to be binging out on some fatty desserts when you're on a holiday in Germany. Intermittent fasting is great if you're eating a lot of fatty stuff and you need a calorie restrict, but it's, it's bad. It turns you into a binge eater. Yo yo. So, again, this is all about uh, insulin resistant rats. So, that, so, they made the rats insulin resistant by giving a lot of fat and then they give some fructose and then, then they say, oh, the, the, the rats have issues. But they they had insulin resistance too much fat. That's how you make a rat insulin resistant or a human is give it a lot of fat. That's just reality there. Here's another one. During intermittent fasting, insulin is no longer present. So the energy stored in fat can be, that's such bunk. If you, have not, if you don't have insulin in your blood, you are dead. You've died. You're, you're gone. You're dead. That's impossible. 
So this is where Marcus doesn't really understand how the body works. He gets some of it right, but most of it wrong. He just doesn't understand. Uh, Marcus should talk with uh, Robbie Barbaro or Dr. Neil Bernard, or even me. During intermittent fasting, insulin is no longer present. That's such nonsense. You'd be dead. You always have insulin in your body at all times. If you don't, you're dead. You're died. So the energy stored in fat can be finally... That's just such bunk. You're always burning fat. You're always burning carbohydrate, and you always have insulin present. Bodybuilders inject insulin along with their growth hormone, so the growth hormone works better. Marcus, you failed this one, bro. You failed. Stick with the positive attitude stuff, because nutritionally, you missed the ball, man. You missed the ball big time. Yeah, that's the deal there. Insulin aids in human growth hormone, all right? That's why the bodybuilders use it. I'm not, I'm not recommending doing that. I'm just saying that's what people use. They inject the insulin, they inject the human growth hormone and, it, and the testosterone. It's the, the triple cocktail there of professional bodybuilding. And used in low dosages with similar fitness, the fitness models on Instagram doing that same routine. Just lower dosages. Lower dosage of testosterone, lower dosage of insulin, lower dosage of GH. It's, it's used. So this, when we understand the, the endocrinology, the drugs, the pharmacology, the biology, the human nutrition then we can understand oh when someone says sugar that means there's this we understand exactly what the truth really is if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down share the goodness share the truth all right sugar for the win and gratitude for the ultimate win if you can't be grateful for people who have helped you in your life or whatever you fucking missing out big time